Welcome to the Club Runner video tutorial series. This video is part two of our homepage content tutorial. Refer to part one for a general overview of homepage content editing. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at widgets, the basic building blocks of your website. We'll examine each of the widget tools and learn how to use them to build your homepage. We will also look at creating custom widgets and find out how to edit widget properties. Remember that you'll need at least editor access rights in order to place content on your website. In order to access the website designer, you need to be logged into your homepage. Once you're logged in, click on the Website tab and then on the Website Designer. This brings us to the Website Design interface. Once you're here, you'll see the Content section in the middle of the page. To access the widgets, click the Edit Content button. We are now on the home page designer screen. What you see here is a representation of your page, one that gives you a basic idea of where each of the elements will be placed. If you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see some orange tabs above a selection of light blue boxes. These are the widgets. Widget is a generic term we use for a piece of self-contained code that displays content or links on your site. Widgets are used to build your site, and each one displays a different set of information or links. You can even create your own custom widgets. The widgets are grouped under these tabs, each according to their function. For example, the Essentials tab displays widgets that are particularly important to your organization, while the Events tab displays event-related widgets such as upcoming speakers or the mini calendar. Custom widgets are sorted under these two tabs. These widgets are the ones you build yourself to suit the needs of your organization, and they can contain free-form text or images. We'll look at custom widgets later in this video. If you want to place a widget in a given location on your page, simply select it, click on it, and drag it to the desired location in the layout. Let's grab the Speakers widget from under the Events tab, and place it here. To move a widget to another location, you can simply drag and drop it. Most widgets offer additional editing functions. To check these out, hover your mouse over a given widget. You'll see some icons appear. The magnifying glass launches a preview of the widget, and just the widget, so you can see the information it contains. The pencil icon allows you to edit the content of the widget information. In this example, you could edit the speaker listing or add a new upcoming speaker. The gear allows you to set the properties of the widget, including borders, background colors, and certain settings depending on the widget. We'll explore that in a later video. Finally, the red X icon deletes the widget from the page. Note that this simply removes the widget from the page, but the content remains in the system. Now we'll take a look at each widget and each category. As I select each one, we'll see a preview of the widget's content on the live version of the home page on the right side of the screen. Complete information about each of these widgets is available on our knowledge base, but in this video, we'll just touch on each one. Let's start with the Essentials tab. This tab contains some of the most basic and important widgets, the essential building blocks of your site. The Meeting Information widget presents details about the time and place of your club meetings. The Executives and Directors widget displays a list of club executives and officers and links to enable visitors to send them an email through a form. The Homepage News and Homepage Stories widgets are used to display articles and news briefs on your site. You should place these in a more prominent content area on your home page. The two widgets have a similar function, as they both draw articles from the story library. Historically, most groups used the news widget for shorter and time-sensitive pieces, while the stories widget was used for longer and more persistent articles, but you may choose just to use the stories widget. The home page download files widget is used to add a link to various files and documents your visitors can access through your website. One placed, the Homepage Photo Albums widget provides a link to any of your existing photo albums. Custom Page and Site Page widgets will display a list of all your extra website pages. We'll take a look at those in another video. The Birthdays and Anniversaries widget displays a list of upcoming birthdays and anniversaries from your membership database. You can choose whose birthdays or anniversaries you wish to display and include items such as spouses and honorary members. You can also set how many months in advance you wish to display these dates. 
The President's greeting widget displays a message from your President along with an optional photo and a link to allow visitors to contact him or her privately through an email form. The Links tab contains widgets that allow you to place categorized links on your page. Once you place a new Links widget in the content area, you are asked to manage the links associated with that particular widget. You can add an individual link or create a new group of links. Link groups make it easier to manage links into categories. This is important if you have a lot of links. You can also change the title of your widget. As you can place multiple links widgets, this is a good way to distinguish them from each other. Under the Events tab, you'll find widgets that show visitors upcoming events and special occasions, as well as links for your members. The mini calendar displays a small month calendar on the page. It highlights the current date, while dates when a club event or speaker is taking place link to the appropriate page. The Speakers widget will list all upcoming and past speakers, with a link to each speaker's details. You can control how far in advance or how far back you want to display speakers on your listing. Upcoming Events provides a summary list of events coming up in the future, along with a link to each event page. You can edit the properties of this widget to set just how far ahead in time it will display events. The Meeting Responsibilities widget displays a list of duties set for your club meetings. This helps you keep track of which members are assigned to each of the tasks needed for upcoming meetings. Remember, you can always click on the pencil icon to make changes to the actual content of each widget. Then click on Go Back to get back to your page designer. Now let's examine the widgets available under the Bulletin and PR tab. The Bulletin Subscribe widget provides a link where visitors can sign up to receive your club bulletin. These emails can be found under the Bulletin Subscribers link in the Bulletin tab. The Bulletin's widget allows site visitors to view current and previous bulletins without subscribing. It's a good way to share your bulletins with the public. The Facebook Like button widget lets visitors like your page with their Facebook account. This is a good way for members to spread the message and mission of your organization and draw visitors to your website. When someone likes your page to this widget, it's noted on their Facebook feed, and a number of people who have liked it will appear on your site. This is the Organization Links widget. The name of the widget may vary according to the name of your organization or club. In this case, our example is a Rotary Club. The widget displays links useful to members of this organization. Note that these links cannot be edited. The RSS widget is designed specifically for your organization and provides up-to-date news links for organization resources online. RSS, which stands for Rich Site Summary, is a family of standard web feed formats used to publish frequently updated information, such as blog entries or news. An RSS feed will allow you to show news feeds from several different sites that automatically refresh. By default, you will see the source of your RSS feed will come from the Rotary International website. Let's review the sponsor widgets. There are three sponsor widgets, each of which displays your sponsor ads in a different way. The All Sponsors widget simply displays every sponsor ad in a static column. The Animated Sponsor widget rotates through each ad according to the time span you specify in the properties. This is defaulted to 10 seconds. The Single Sponsor widget displays a different sponsor each time a page is loaded. Finally, let's take a look at the Custom widgets. These are free-form content that you can place wherever you like on your homepage and contain images and text defined by you. Custom widgets can be global or page-specific. If you plan to create a custom widget that you wish to display on a page other than the home page, create it under the Global tab. Otherwise, create your new widget under the Page Specific tab. To create a new custom content widget, drag and drop the green Add Global Custom Widget over to your design area and place it wherever you like. This will automatically redirect you to the Edit mode of that widget. Give your widget a title and then enter in your content using the familiar editor. A more exhaustive tour of the editor can be found in another video. Once you've made your changes, click on the Save button. If you need to come back to this widget and make further changes, simply hover over it and select the pencil icon. Once you've completed your changes to your website, you can preview the entire page by clicking on the Page Preview button located at the top right. If you find you need to make changes, Click on the Go Back button to return to the page designer. Otherwise, you can simply click on the Publish button to make your changes go live. Once you do that, you'll see a text message appear confirming publication. 
Note, however, it may be a few minutes before you see your changes appear online. Thanks for joining me today to learn about the use of widgets and the creation of custom widgets. Check out our other tutorial videos for more ways to enhance your Club Runner experience. And if you've not already watched it, be sure to check out part one of this homepage content series to get an overview of the design process. This is a widget. A widget might be a radio, a refrigerator, a musical instrument, or a motor car. A widget, you know, is just a symbol for any manufactured product that people use.